In this section, we're going to learn how to upload photos to your computer. So you're going to go to Start, Computer. Now, right now, I have a memory card installed, and that is showing up as the removable disk. So I'm going to double click on that. Then I'm going to double click on DCIM, which is Digital Camera Image, and then double click on the specific camera that I have, and then double click on the image. Now, there's my image. And from here, you can rotate it, you can edit it. Now I'm going to rotate it to what I like, and then I'm going to do File and Make a Copy. So I made a copy, um, and I'm going to put it under my Pictures section on my computer, and I'm going to name it. In this case, I'm going to name it New Mandolin, and then click Save. So it's saved on my computer. And from here, what I'm going to do, since it's saved on the computer, is I'm going to go to a website where I can actually have this printed and sent to me. Because I don't have a, a printer that will print these pictures. So I'm going to go to Shutterfly, which is www.shutterfly.com. Now, I recommend using Internet Explorer because I've had some trouble with Mozilla in this site. So I'm going to sign in, but you can sign up for free if you don't have an account with Shutterfly. And so I'm going to enter in my email and my password. And yes, click sign in. And as you can see, I have other albums of pictures that I have uploaded from my camera onto this site and they can store uh, these pictures. I'm going to click on add pictures and then choose files to upload. So I'm going to choose the files and it's going to be under uh, libraries and then pictures and then I'm going to look for that mandolin picture and there it is. I'm going to double click on it, and that's going to upload. And I'm going to name it as today's date. And it's uploading. So there it is. Now it's uploaded onto the site. So I'm going to view all my pictures. I'm going to click on that. Now you can certainly upload more pictures if you'd like to put into a new album. Um, now this part may take a minute. But if you just wait patiently, it will come up. Sometimes if you reload it, it makes sense. I'm going to just go back for a second. And now what I should have done was just reloaded the page. But it will come up eventually. There we go. Okay, so here are the albums, and there's that picture of the mandolin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that picture, and then there's some different things I could do with that. I could share it on the internet. I can look for more products that the site offers. Um, I can make a card out of it, a photo book. Um, but I'm going to show you how to order prints. So I'm going to click on Order Prints. I didn't, I didn't select it, I didn't check the box, but it picked it up. So here is where you could select what types of pictures you would want, or how big the size is, as you can see, 4x6, 5x7. And this is to order, so Shutterfly will process the request and then send it to you, or you can send it to a friend. And so I'm going to choose uh, 4x6, just one. And I'm going to click Next. And then you can have you know different addresses stored on Shutterfly where you want your pictures sent. I'm going to choose to send it 
um, to this address. And then from here, it's self-explanatory. I mean, it shows you the cost that it will be. And from here, you can go to the checkout uh, to process things and use your credit card or whatever you'd like to use. So that's how you um, to get in order your pictures. Now, if you do have a, a printer, now you can go to Start Computer and click on the removable disk, which is my memory card, or sometimes digital cameras can plug right into the computer with a specific cord. You click on the DCIM and this type of camera, and then there's our picture again. And all you would have to do if you had a printer that would print these photos is go to print and specify what type of a picture you'd want and, and just different types of pictures you can print. But uh, there we go, and then you can just put print. And there you go. Now in the next session, we're going to teach you how to uh, transfer photos by email and then post it to a social networking site like Facebook.